Good afternoon and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Mondeo Estate walk around video. Before we do get started, if you are enjoying the Perkins Garages YouTube content, could I be kind enough to ask you to hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss a minute of our content ever again. The walk around video. This here is a Moon Dust Silver Ford Mondeo Estate ST Line Edition. This features the 2 litre TIVCT engine producing 187 PS of power. That 187 PS of power is transmitted through an automatic gearbox. This vehicle is an HEV, hybrid electrical vehicle, meaning you have a small capacity battery in the back and that works as a hybrid system. So there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge, simply get in it, drive it like you normally would any other vehicle and get some really good MPG out the back of it. The vehicle itself is registered on a 2022 registration, meaning you'll take forward warranty with you until April 2025. The vehicle is very low mileage, just over 8,000 miles on the clock, so I'll get you the exact number once you're on the dash in a moment. This Mondeo features some wonderful specification, so let me take the time to walk you around it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get you the remote central locking key out of my pocket and wake it all up. So we have some lovely headlights and just below those headlights are some led daytime running lamps the daytime running lamps are going to be flashing in your video simply because of the frequency in which my camera records at but in real life they look amazing they're not flashing and again they give you good visibility no matter what the lighting condition so just below those are the led front fox and obviously led lights in there as well moving our way around the front bumper we can see we have front parking sensors which trail all the way around and we have the little doled out bit there for a driver assistance pack and we'll cover that once we're inside the vehicle moving away around we get to these gorgeous 19 inch machine cut alloy wheels and they're like the y spoke design if you like and so that means you've got the silver shiny face at the front with gloss black behind it looks the part obviously we have the red painted brake calipers just behind them also as you're the key nines can see we have continental tires and again they're in fantastic condition draw your attention up to the windscreen quickly please excuse with the flies i think we've got a whole fly hatching over there so if you see me squat my face that's for why in there is a light sensor the sun will go down the moon will come up and your lights will come on automatically one less thing to worry about in the windscreen there we have one for the traffic speed sign recognition and we also have one for the rain sensing wipers so a lot of automation going on Back down to the vehicle now, we can see, oh, look at the bodywork. So we have rear privacy glass appearing there as well. And we have some lovely spec. Oh, I did have the key, where's the key? Okay, so if I lock the vehicle, power folding and heated door mirrors, before I let you know, I'm gonna go to half zoom now. And on the door handle, we have four lines. That signifies we have keyless entry. A tap behind the door handle unlocks the vehicle and a tap on the lines locks the vehicle so as long as your keys in your your pocket your handbag close proximity to the vehicle it will gain your entry obviously if you're too far away safety system says it's only going to be you getting in the vehicle and if you don't get in the vehicle after a certain period of time which i will demonstrate in a minute that will automatically lock itself in the wing mirrors as well we have these little icons here which stands for blind spot assist so if someone's in your blind spot on the near side or the off side of the vehicle it'll give you an orange illumination to let you know it's unsafe to pull in or out once again let's go to the roof we can have a look at the pan look at these flies. sorry sorry get away panoramic glass opening roof there ladies and gentlemen so let a cool breeze of fresh air into the cabin whilst you're driving along not only that it lets an abundance of light in as well so it's a really nice addition to the vehicle we're going to start to move our way around there we go lock the vehicle after about 30 seconds or so so again if you didn't enter it locks itself up so we've arrived to the offside rear of the vehicle where i'm going to show you how lovely all the body panels are so i'm going to start nice and high and i'm just going to gently shimmy the camera all the way down to show you how lovely it is and we'll link that round to the offside rear wheel Again, a beautiful 19-inch wheel, continental tyre, red brake caliper on your discs at the back there. So as we're starting to look at the rear bumper now, we can notice we have a parking sensor starting nice and early. That would suggest that this vehicle has the Ford Active Park Assist. So front and rear parking sensors twinned with a high-definition reversing camera tucked up just underneath 
a Ford badge there, look. So you have some fantastic parking aids, front and rear and self-park as well. So that's a view from the rear of the vehicle. And we're gonna slowly make our way to the near side rear. Again, I'm gonna start nice and high and acute angle and just shimmy the camera down. As you can see, the filler cap is on the left hand, the near side of the vehicle. Now we're gonna follow the vehicle all the way to the near side front wheel. Give you a good look at that also. Again, keyless entry on every single door handle. So no matter what door you're trying to gain entry, it's nice and easy to do so. Okay, let's have a look inside the tailgate. So release button just to the right hand side underneath the Ford badge. This opens up the tailgate. So we have a built-in mini tourneo cover, if you like, in the wind, uh, rear, rear window there. I'm losing my voice. And we have a built-in tourneo cover that's easily retractable. So the high voltage, the hybrid battery, is kept underneath the boot covers here. So you have a slight little hump in the boot, and that is where the batteries are kept. Underneath this little cover also though, we'll have a tyre sealant kit and compressor to change the spare wheel, uh, to change tyre sealant kit and compressor to reinflate your tyre on the side of the road, to keep you going in the right direction. In the back there also, on the right hand side, we have a 12 volt socket, just hiding away up there. Keep your power packs, cool boxes nicely charged up. Okay, so that's the side of the rear. It's a massive boot though. Two Labradors, not a problem. We can get a baby donkey in there. That's how big that is, very large. Okay, so let's have a look inside the vehicle now. So we've got the classic ST line edition interior. So if we look at the, just the uh, offside rear door card to begin with, every rear, well, both rear windows even, have a built-in retractable sun blind. And we have electric windows on every single door card. We've got a lovely gloss black interior with like a, a nice soft touch uh, leather there with red stitching defining it all the way around and that theme continues when we look at the seats so again we have the part leather part suede that's per uh, perforated suede material there so it's very robust very durable it's also breathable iso fixing seats on the near side and the offside rear so you can clip the kiddie seats in and keep them nice and secure if they weren't in the kiddie seat and then you'd have a cold bum Fantastic, this vehicle has the winter pack, so we've got two heated rear seats and also some more charging apparatus down there as well, just below the rear aircon air vents. So this is a nice point of the vehicle, just to show you how much light is let in by the panoramic glass opening roof. So you can see the light pouring into the cabin. So that's the rear of the vehicle. Let's talk you through the front of it. So, opening up the driver's door, we have a three-way memory function. I told you this car was well spec. Three way memory function next to the interior locking, next to the door handle. Just below, we have all four controls for the windows. We have electric mirrors and the controls from there. Panning round now and showing you inside the driver's seat. And um, it's in such good We've still got the brand new seals and all the, the metals down there as well. But again, the, the half leather, part suede interior with some beautiful red stitching. We have electrically controlled seats to be expected with a memory function and they give you a one which is the front a two three four five six seven eight nine well, it's going to be ten isn't it i've obviously missed one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah ten way adjustable driver's seat i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you might hear a bit of distortion on my microphone so just bear with me for a second please marvellous okay you join me back inside the vehicle now and the first thing to note is the mileage on the dash is 8119.9 being an automatic vehicle with a power a key a button push start foot on the brake the light goes green click that once and that gives us power to the vehicle okay so the first thing i'm going to do in the interior is hopefully steady the camera slightly and give you a tour around the driver display as you can see, we have two digital parts to this screen, or well, the screens, two digital displays even. And I'll be using the arrows on the left-hand side of the steering wheel 
corresponding to the left hand screen and the right hand arrows to the right hand side of the screen. So fundamentally, the left hand side is where your chip computers and all your essential driver information is kept. So for example, it begins on a digital speedo, we have average fuel consumption, another chip computer, and we have a My View, so you can configure that screen to be whatever you like. Live tire pressures, we go down once more into another chip computer, so to say, and back to here. If I was to go out quickly, I drop it down to settings, and we can go to driver assist. So I mentioned earlier, this vehicle has a very nice driver assistance pack on board. That includes things such as traction control, local hazard information, blind spot assist, we've got cross traffic, cruise control, driver alert, lane keeping system, pre-collision assist. That's the little radar I showed you on the front bumper previously. Uh, but traffic signs, we have a speed limiter and your tyre monitor. So lots of essential software on board keeping you nice and safe. I'll just skip to the right hand screen quickly whilst I'm still on zoom. This is mainly looking at your media and entertainment. So for example, in entertainment you have your audio, you have your Bluetooth for your phone on there, navigations, so all the directions from your sync module can appear here, uh, and the compass obviously, and what else we have on there, fuel economy as well. Um, so, yeah. so it's a very nice user friendly screen on there, big fan of it, looks very smart. Okay, I'll just lose, lose the zoom quickly. In the middle, we have the Speedo, a nice analog Speedo with miles per hour around the outside, kilometers an hour in the middle, and at the bottom, being an automatic, we have a gear selector indicator. Also, if you're new to hybrid vehicles, the thing to look out for is that green ready sign. So when you turn the ignition on, it's not always going to turn on the engine, or it's also going to do at low torque demand, so when you're reversing or just driving very slowly, it's actually going to run on full electric. So that is a green ready sign to say that the vehicle is in a good state of operation and is ready to go. Okay, if I just zoom out the screen now, I will just attend to the steering wheel. So again, the left hand side corresponds to the left hand side of the screen, the right hand arrows, and the right hand side of the screen. Bottom right cluster there, this is for your media and entertainment. So we have a previous and next song, pick up and decline phone. We have a voice command button, we have a mute button, and a volume up and down. The left hand side of the screen, we have the cruise control settings. It's a very ergonomic place to have it just on your thumb. So once you know what buttons do which, it's very easy to set your distance to the vehicle in front, set your speed, set your limiter, and everything in between. If you don't use cruise control already, start using it. It's fantastic for your MPG on those longer journeys. So that's the cruise control, and that's around the, the steering wheel. Lane keep assist, you can turn on and off very quickly on the end of the indicator stalk and all the automatic wiper function is found on the right hand stalk. With the automatic lights, kept in auto down there. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so in the interest of time, let's progress. So, buttons down here, we have one, sorry, it's not focused. One, the front, the first button there is for your self park assist. We have one for eco mode, and one to turn off and on the parking sensors. Electronic handbrake features to the right hand side of the cluster, and we have the ever faithful classic, Ford selector for the automatic gearbox and we do have a hill descent control on the right hand side of the selector two USB A's down there give you 2.1 amps of charging and another 12 volt socket as well the vehicle has dual zone air conditioning so both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures we have a nice parade of physical buttons to press to adjust temperatures and it also corresponds to the screen ahead of you so you can do it on the screen or you can use the physical buttons or oh, turn that down whichever you'd prefer so again at the right hand side electronic heated front screen uh, we've got recirculation on and off we've got three-way uh, heated seats again this is part of the winter pack so you get heated front and rear seats and the heated steering wheel the button is on the screen there so let's now we're up there we've got the uprated sony sound systems we've got some fantastic speakers all the way around i think in the middle there's got a cd player people used to have cds in music on you pop it in and it gives you music fantastic um if you didn't uh, participate in the cd generation we have smartphones uh, so for example this screen is fully supportive of bluetooth android auto and apple carplay so there's lots of ways of delivering your music from your phone a quick tour around the screen there, audio to the bottom left hand side, in different sources we have AM, FM, DAB, CD and Bluetooth audio, 
Coming out there, we have the climate screen that I've already discussed. Let me just turn that off, otherwise you might get a bit of distortion on my mic. Phone, predominantly for your Bluetooth on your, on your, on your phone. We have the sync navigation, fantastic navigation system to use. I use all the time my focus, never let me down. And again, once you set your destination, you can have the, the directions appear in front of you. Very good indeed. Uh, going to settings, all the additional settings you might need for the vehicle, like so, including ambient, uh, ambient light settings. How amazing. Okay, so I won't uh, bore you too much with the screen, but we also have things such as uh, proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors, along with a high definition reversing camera with a park pilot on it as well. So as you move your steering wheel, that's uh, gonna help you in and out any spaces. Just quickly, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, because it's an electric vehicle, it makes a slight droning noise so pedestrians can hear you safely. On that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like, subscribe, leave a lovely comment if you've got any. And if not, you need any more information, please give us a call 01376 550 899. Thank you and goodbye.